Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can merge multiple Illustrator files into one fresh document in seconds. This is an awesome time saver. So without further ado, this is the link to the webpage where you can download the free script. Thank you, Icon Finder, for AI Merge. And I'm going to download it. So I'll give you a link to this webpage. I'm going to choose to uh, download uh, the zip file. Which, as you can see here, I have put my folder for my downloads, so you can see it here. So it's a zip file. Double off click on that to unzip it. And then in the folder, you will find that we have the AI merge JavaScript file in there. There's a readme and there's a license in there as well. So we need to install it. So you're better off having Illustrator not open and active um, when you're going to do this. So if I go down to the bottom and on the Mac, command and left click on the uh, Illustrator icon at the bottom then it will take me to the installation folder where Illustrator in here, my version 2020 is. Um, I will also in the show notes show you links to the Mac and the PC folder where you need to install this script. So it is presets, then whatever your language is in here. So I'm visiting Great Britain uh, and then it will be scripts. So this is what you'll pretty much find for all the default uh, vanilla installs for Illustrator, a set of scripts in here. And you just grab your script and you drag it and drop it in here. Now, it's probably going to want me to authenticate, so I'll click on that and just put my password in here. And there it is. It's now in my scripts folder. So if I then go down to the bottom and open up Illustrator, and when you go to the file menu and then down to scripts, there it is. So that is where you find your script. So the installation process is literally a drag and drop. You've got to get in the right folder. But as I say, in the show notes, I will give you a link on the Mac and the PC of where that is, where you put that. So that that's simply it. Now, let me then show you the wonders of AI Merge. So I jumped over to a website called Flat Icon. And if I just click on one of these in here, let's go over this one here. So if I go to this one, this shows me all of the images in this pack. Now I can choose to download this. If I click on the download, I'll go to my downloads folder and I double click on the zip and then show you the folder. It's broken down into EPS, PNG, PSD and SVG. Well, in my case, I'm going to jump over to EPS and these are all the icons. Now, you know, it's great artwork, but I, if I want them all in one file to utilize, I'd have to open them all up, copy them and paste them into my destination master file. So I'm going to jump over to Illustrator. So I'll go to the file menu, down to scripts, and then choose AI Merge. Now, you might need a little bit of experimentation because um, you're going to need to just pick an artboard size in here. So you might find that you try some of the settings in here that don't quite work. You can always have another go. Nothing is lost. So artboard width and height. Now, I'm going to go for 50 by 50. So that's the artboard width and that artboard height. And then for artboard spacing, these sizes are in points, which is analogous to pixels as well. So I'll leave that set to 24 and then scale. I'm going to set the scale of these down to let's go for 50%. And then down at the bottom in here, um, what we're going to have. So the file name is going to be merged files. And then what we're going to do, we're going to pick which file type. And I'm going to choose EPS. Then you browse to your folder. Downloads. My newly downloaded folder. EPS and there we go. I click on open. Now, if there are subfolders in there, that's not a problem. It will dig into the subfolders and it will pick out any EPS file. And then when you click on OK, as I will here, fingers crossed. So having never tried this before, I really don't know whether these vector files are going to fit onto these artboards in here. So this, the scaling bit is the bit that you'll need to just tinker with, really. And then uh, here you can see, yeah, that they're, they're a little bit too big. What I'll do is this is all that I did the first time I used it. I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to click to close that down. I'll go back to file. I'll choose script and then choose AI merge again. But this time I'm going to choose for the scale. I'm going to choose 10 for the percentage in there. And again, all the options are the same, so I can click on OK. There we go. So that, that looks more promising. So now I've got my icons all loaded up onto artboards in the same document and they're all on the same layer. And there you go. I mean, that is it, you know. How cool is that? That I cannot tell you how much time that will save me. So I am just so grateful for people out there who are far smarter and geekier than I am um, to create these scripts. The link to the script is in the show notes. 
the link uh, for where the destination is for Mac and PC to install it is there as well. Go out there and save some time, folks, and uh, and enjoy merging your vector files into one folder. It's so, it's, yeah, I'm just, I need to get out more, but hey, these things make us happy. Um, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and you can always subscribe, click on the bell so you don't miss another one of these glorious videos and I'll see you in the next one.